hey, are you struggling to control your forehand? You feel like it's completely out of control and you love nothing more than to have a good blend of spin and power. Then watch this video because I'm about to blow your mind. Okay guys, so I made a pretty big promise about blowing your mind, getting more spin and power. That's what we all want to do. And actually when I saw this video by Time Value of Tennis, Sergey did the video, it's awesome. You can watch it up here. I'm going to link to it in the card section. And uh, he talked about how he had struggled to get a good mix of spin and power. Either he either would hit the ball flat with not much spin, he could hit it low over the net, or when he tried to hit top spin, his ball would go higher and fluffy over the net. Let me just show you that from the back view. So typically, the two ways that people are getting uh, either power or spin, they're kind of working against each other. You hit the ball flat, you typically don't get enough spin, and you hit it flat and low over the net. And then when you want to add top spin, you're getting your spin, but your ball tends to go maybe higher than you want, and you're struggling to get that good mix of spin and power. The ball's going harder, but still lower than that and through the court. And this is what the pros are doing. Well, Sergey noticed that as he's watching a lot of slow motion video of Federer and all the other amazing pros, that it appeared on a number of their hits that the sweet spot tended to actually be lower on the strings than right in the pure middle. And it kind of like, was a light bulb moment for him going, ah, oh, maybe if I aim lower on the racket, I can get some more momentum and still keep the spin. And a lot of my subscribers, because I sent this out to an email, they were kind of confused, like, well, how can you actually aim and hit the, you know, the bottom of the strings and, you know, what about the sweet spot and all that? Well, first of all, it's a great tip and don't get obsessed with hitting the lower part of the strings. I don't think that's really the point of, of what he's trying to make there. But what I want you to understand is if you're hitting the ball, you're coming up, you got the right grip and you're hitting the ball in the center or below and you're loose look how the racket's going to start to move like as you hit it. See, watch this. I'm basically going to hold the racket very loose and I'm going to hit the ball, right, lower on the sweet spot. See what happens to the racket? It turns down, okay? So that's going to do what? That's going to keep the ball going down and forward. Where if you were to do the opposite, again, I'm holding it loose, what if I hit just above the equator of the sweet spot? Now look what happens. My racket turns up. So if you're somebody who's always kind of popping the ball up, if you're hitting the ball middle, lower, or higher on the racket, you're probably hitting the ball too high lots of times. So if you're somebody where your ball kind of sprays on you, you lose toss and your ball floats, you're probably hitting the ball higher on the sweet spot and then the ball is blooping up when it makes contact as opposed to if you're hitting it middle or lower, look how again that racket starts to turn. So what we want to do is we're hitting that ball. This is a Tospin Pro, which is a great tool, by the way, that I love. You can really focus on that idea with this, and you can practice getting the idea. I'd even practice hitting a couple, you know, at center or open, and you can see how the ball doesn't spin much. And if you hit it, it's going to tend to fly up. And then you can start to aim more lower on on the sweet spot and you can see that your racket turns over and you're getting that spin right away, right? And so that's what the pros are doing to keep the top spin on the ball, to keep the ball from flying away is they're basically coming and sometimes, not all the time, not that you can make it an art form, I'm not saying hitting the ball in the middle of the strings is a bad thing. Don't walk away from this video and Pete says, hitting the ball in the middle of the strings is bad. No, what is bad is whether you hit the middle or up here and your racket tends to pop open, that's bad. That's when the, that's when the ball is going to pop up and fly away. But if you can be relaxed and after you hit, as you see the pros hit, their rackets are always turning over, right? And it just makes sense. The more you put more of your weight towards the bottom of the strings, you're going to get that, that top spin when you hit the ball. So that's what I want you to focus on. 
Hey guys, it's Pete. Sorry to interrupt your video, uh, but you got to join my text community. Text ACE to 38470. It's going to be a way for us to connect and really get the best out of our game in 2020. So that's what I want you to start focusing on as you go out and play, that you're relaxed and that notice where your racket starts to turn after you hit it. Is it turning over or is it popping up? And if it's popping up just before you hit, lots of people have this tweak, the ball flies on you. So guys, here's a couple of demos. You can see I'm going to try and aim a little lower on the string so that my racket turns over after I hit it. And you see if I do that, that the ball is going lower and fast over the net. I'm able to hit that ball low and fast over the net. And that's how the pros are getting a good mix of spin and power. Okay guys, so practice that drill and you'll be well on your way to upgrading your forehand. Actually, I did something really cool this past summer as I went and my, my own Upgrade Your Forehand Challenge. I took lessons with the best coaches on the planet. I went and took a lesson with Rick Macy, Jeff Solenstein, Mark Kovacs, and Jeff Greenwald. And I actually want to share this three-part training series with you. It was such a fun experience. And uh, Rick Macy in video one, he teaches you how to start really learning to perfect that ATP forehand. He's coached the Williams sisters. Andy Riley calls them the best junior coach in the world. So that's what we're going to get you started with. So if you just fill out your email, you just click the link here. I'll put it in the description as well. So just click your card or you, or you go down in the description, you can start that free training series and we'll get you started with one of the best coaches of all time, Rick Macy. And then following up in video two, we're going to have Mark Kovacs who works with all the top American pros. And then video three, Jeff Solenstein is going to teach you how to hit rocket ship forehands. So subscribe, start the free training and don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let me know what you think of this whole uh, new kind of sweet spot idea. Do you understand where we're going with this or does it still not make sense to you?